What's going on, Dragon Ball fam? It is your boy, Juan Luis, back at it again with another Dragon Ball The Breakers video. We are back playing Dragon Ball The Breakers. I hope you guys enjoyed the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot um, DLC that I made of the 23rd um, Tenkaichi Budokai tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. <laughs> um the views weren't the best which is fine you know i figured it was going to be like that because you know um the dlc came out what like a month ago or something i'm totally late for that party but anyways we're back here we're playing as golden vegeta but this time around i'm gonna switch things up on you guys over the years i have met a lot of voice actors a lot of celebrities a lot of you know established individuals right and i have a lot of stories you know a lot of stories that i have that i feel like would be cool if i shared with you guys right i go to a lot of conventions and stuff like that um sometimes i'm invited to after parties etc so you know i've met these people both in and out of their professional work faces so i wanted to really share some of the stories right so today I don't know if you guys remembered, but I think it was two, 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 two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I was on vacation. Well, I went to an anime convention where I actually ended up meeting a few guests. Uh, I will make videos on them separately um, later on. If, you know, this little um, video does um, an interest, right? If it interests you guys, sorry. If it interests you guys, you guys enjoy this video, you guys want to see more, make sure to leave the comment below. Let me know if you guys enjoy this little story tie breakers gameplay video, right? You guys let me know. And also make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit the notification button because your boy wants you to never miss any of these videos. So that's very important. Anyways. Yeah, so I go to this anime convention. Um, a little far from me, actually. It was like an hour and a half drive from where I live. But totally worth it. I know the owner. We're friends, like, from years ago. And, um, yeah, I saw that the voice actor of Nappa was in town. Now, I never met the voice actor of Nappa before. Like, he... He has never shown up, like, here where I'm at. And I was excited. Along with the voice actress of um, Bulma. She was also here. Um, let me see, who else was here? Um, Bulma... The voice actor of Tian Shinhan, who was also the voice actor of uh, Kurama from Yu Hakusho, which, again, he's never come down here. So I was excited to meet him and the OG voice of Frieza, Linda Young, who also did Genkai in Yu Hakusho. She was also there. I got to meet her too, as well as OG Bulma. Um, who else was there? Oh, yeah, the OG Kid Goku voice, Stephanie. I have a video in the future about her. Oh, man, that was a good one. And, um, yeah, the original voice actor, Vic, um, what's his name? Vic, I don't know his last name, Vic Min Mignana. Yeah, he was there, too. He had a huge line. Also, the voice of 18 and 17 were there. Uh, have a future video also on Android 17. He was, like... Oh man, one of the best experiences. But anyways, this is about Phil Parsons. Phil Parsons is the voice actor of Nappa. So I go up to him. He has, like, he had just finished signing and taking pictures with people. So I was like, all right, here's my chance. Let me go talk to him, right? Go up to him, have a conversation. I, I look around and he's selling, like, pops of Nappa. But, like, I guess he draws i didn't know this but he's an artist as well 
and he drew Napa on the side of the pop with permanent marker. I thought that was cool as hell. I think he was charging like a hundred bucks for it or something like that. Um, of course, signed by him as well. But yeah, that that was pretty cool to see. But anyways, we're talking and this and that, and you know the normal introductions. Hey, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, same here. Blah blah blah. Okay. And I asked him, I have a question. He says, sure, what is it? And I said, as far as Dragon Ball is concerned, right, with the video games, because we all know that new Tenkaichi is coming out, do they use Nappa's voice like for stock, like a stock voice of him, or do they bring you in to report? Now, the reason why I asked this is because I also met Sean Schimmel a few years ago, who is the voice actor of Goku, and he told me that for certain um, dialogues, so for example, the, uh, 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 you know, stuff like that, they do have stock um, samples of that that they use for the video games. So I ask him, do they do the same for Nappa? Seeing as Nappa was only, you know, with us during the Saiyan saga. He wasn't necessarily a super big character. And he tells me, um, no, they don't use um, my voice for stock um, as a sample. You know, they don't have uh, stock samples of Nappa. They just bring me in. And then, without me even asking the next question, he tells me, the last game I did was Dragon Ball The Breakers, coincidentally. And I start laughing to myself thinking wow dragon ball the breakers right <laughs> kind of a sign that i have to push forward with this so um after he tells me my last role was dragon ball the breakers i asked him so like what exactly you know were some of the things that they made you do he says it was just like one liners this and that so i'm assuming that dragon ball the breakers asked him to come over to record lines so the lines that we have like here in the game like damn you damn you you know stuff like that he had to come into the booth and record them they're not stock sample recordings um which i think is pretty damn cool don't know how much that may cost <laughs> you know but um it just goes to show that bandai's you know calling these people over and telling them to come and um do voices for the actual characters for new lines i'm assuming right so christopher sabe i'm sure he did vegeta um the new voice actor frieza ginyu which that's crazy because ginyu has um more than one voice right yeah and lines are still coming out so they must have had quite a lengthy recording session um for this game so he told me that, and then I tried asking, getting information out of him on Tenkaichi 4, right? And I asked him, so, um, are you in Tenkaichi 4? Are you recording anything for Tenkaichi 4? And he told me, hey, man, I, I, I wish I could tell you, but I cannot tell you if Nappa is or is not in the game because I signed, you know, an MBA, so he can't, he can't elaborate on it, right? He can't tell me so i said too, fair enough man i'm not gonna push the envelope because i don't want to um you know get you in trouble or anything like that guy was cool as hell by the way super humble super nice talked to me for quite a while and didn't even charge you know a lot of not all but a lot of voice actors you know you have to pay to meet right whether it be for a selfie whether it be for a print pop of this or that he literally charged me zero dollars and zero cents super nice and humble guy um would love to meet him again the next time maybe i'll have a pop ready for him to sign or maybe uh one of my dvds or something right because um if you know anything about me I, I like you know collecting stuff and i like uh, especially collecting autographs so um yeah, something about that I just really like, and yeah, Phil was a great guy, man. He was, he was cool. Kind of looked like Nappa too. He's bald with a goatee. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, um... But anyways, uh... Yeah, the, if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys gotta let me know, man, if you want me to continue. I'm gonna, um... Make more videos. I'll probably talk about... Um... Uh, for sure, I'm gonna talk about Linda Young, which is the OG Frieza. I'm gonna talk about her. Had a cool story about her, with the, which I didn't know. Uh, have one of um, Tiffany, who was the OG Bulma voice. She was super nice, super cool, super friendly. I'll, I've met Chris Christopher Sabat, who is the voice actor of like almost like 80% of the Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> cast including vegeta i have a, uh, i met him a couple of times actually um i can make videos on him sean shimmel i've met i also met uh the og voice so i don't know if you guys know this but sean shimmel was not always the original voice of goku before funimation was 100 percent in charge of the english dub it was a dub called the ocean dub and um, the voice actor of the Ocean Dub was also in this convention that I was talking about. And I got to meet him too. Um, he was cool. Cool guy. And um, yeah, I got him to sign me a Ocean Dub Volume 1 DVD of uh, Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, uh, who else, who else, who else have I met over the years? My God, it's been so much. I've I have met the original voice actor of Go of Broly. I've met uh, the Ocean Dub of Piccolo. What was his name? Scott McNeil. There you go. I've met him. I've met the guy who did Ichigo from Bleach. Johnny John. Johnny Yong. Yeah. I don't know if he. I don't know if he ever did anything for Dragon Ball. You guys let me know in the comment below. I'm not sure if he ever uh, did anything for Dragon Ball. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for when it comes to Nappa. Uh, hopefully I get to meet him again, like I said. But yeah, I hope on top of that you guys are enjoying this gameplay because um, I'm not going to lie, I was struggling there a little bit with, uh, was it Nappa a little bit? Not even not, but it was more Vegeta. They were key rushing me a little bit. I was a little afraid that they had the new perk, um, where the where the last key gets placed super quick. But I don't think they had it, which is why I was hovering over the A slot for so long. But once I saw that my um, clock was under a minute, I was like, "All right, <laughs> time to go grade eight, right?" I destroyed an area and then I used um, that area destruction as bait so I could go great ape. And here, like always, you know, just take them out one by one. I remember Oolong was kind of annoying in this game. He was a pretty good uh, survivor there. <laughs> here I am just trying to look for people. But they were nowhere near. So since I saw that the time machine was at 20%, again, it doesn't matter if I destroy the time machine or not anymore. I'm gold. I have beaten the game as Raider. <laughs> so time machine doesn't matter, but, you know, still got to keep an eye on because if it goes up, you lose. So don't want to lose either, but don't really need a perfect win anymore. So... I'm not worried about like them summoning a dragon to have dragon ball there. And this Chi Chi, so I was just like messing around, going around town, and I just see this Chi Chi get locked on, and I accidentally punch her. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna follow this. And I did not know that I could go through this narrow path. I don't think Chi Chi knew that either. So, ended up killing her. So. Then I see that this guy's looking for the supplies, and I snipe him there. <laughs> and um, then I see the last some survivor, which I did not know was also looking for supplies. And he puts up quite the fight here. 
and I just I just stop his D change and at this point I'm like all right <laughs> I'm just gonna mess around with him a little bit I could have killed him but I was like eh let me just play around a little bit I don't really get golden ape too often because I don't play Vegeta too often even though he's my favorite raider but yeah he was on bikes so that's why I shot him there tried killing him there but he he's a sneaky one man he got behind me somehow so then i was like okay i'm just gonna find the time machine somewhere around here couldn't find it for some reason even though it's right in front of me oh my god and i was like all right i'm just gonna go for the perfect win because i have a more or less an idea of where he's at and then the game just locks onto him for me he's like super close I use this so I can send him flying and then I could beat him while he's up in the air or while he lands and that's how you do it oh he's got to send out the line <laughs> but yeah man um that's um that's that's what Nappa told me he told me he can't talk about Tenkaichi 4 but the last gig he had was Dragon Ball the Breakers uh, for voice lines. I probably should have... He kind of threw me off guard. I'm not going to lie. I probably should have asked him if he was going to record any more lines for the Breakers that he knows of. But he probably couldn't even tell me even if I did ask him. So there's that too. But yeah, um, you guys let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video. And if you want to hear more, let me know. All right. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit the notification button. Like always, guys, be safe out there, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.